finest Playa Mujeres. First thing I want to start with is that the lemonade here is sparkling. Don't ask me why I felt that was important enough to start this whole video off with, but it just needs to be known. Finest Playa Mujeres has about 15 restaurants, a few lounges and bars, including some poolside and swim up. Entering the lobby, you'll see four restaurants and a bar in the upstairs area. Lizo, the Mexican cuisine option. Chef creations include pre-Hispanic dishes, authentic Mexican and Tex-Mex specialties. We did not eat here. The waits were always kind of long. Shoji, the Asian cuisine option. Explore the exotic gastronomy of Asian from Thai to Japanese to Chinese. We also didn't eat here. Um, there's a cautionary tale that I'll tell you later on in the video. Brass Steakhouse, one for three. Yes, we did eat here. Um, a fine dining experience for any lover of steakhouses. Le Petit Plaisir delivers classic fare rooted in French tradition and another swing and a miss. We didn't eat here, um, but it's adults only and we had the baby with us. So yeah, we got an excuse. With that, I'm gonna take a second to pause and say that there were some adult only options. Additionally, there were varying dress codes in force, like men were required to wear collared shirts at dinner. Shorts are acceptable for outdoor dining, but gotta wear pants indoors. Also, they alternated days and times of day in which each dining option was open. Just something to keep in mind, not sure if that's changed since we've been there, so let's just continue. Below the lobby, you'll find the Golden Bar, that big one in the middle, Legend Sports Bar, a sleeper, don't count it out as an option now. As a wing aficionado from Atlanta, I approve their wings. The Market Kitchen, which is the buffet option, enjoy dishes from all corners of the globe, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In the back is Tintos and Tapas, sample the finest taste of Spain, an impressive assortment of tapas and small dishes that we ourselves did not try. Out the door in a short walk to the next restaurant, that's the outdoor buffet seating right there. Look at that view, just beautiful. Moving on to Surf and Turf, an elegant option for land and sea combinations specially designed with a gourmet touch. Domo, exclusively for the Excellence Club guests, or adult staying at the finest club, Domo offers a wide variety of gourmet cuisine options, sea bass, duck confit, lamb, veal chops, you name it. Finest club lounge, cocktails, mocktails, and juice blends. They also host games, events, and activities on some days. Sky bar, drinks with a view and music to create a good vibe. And here's the place we probably frequent it most, Duke's Lobster and Seafood Bar. A more relaxed dress code and more accommodating schedule is probably the reason why. But let's go back. Way back. Way, way, way back. Okay, stop. The Market Kitchen. We arrived just as breakfast ended. Breakfast ends at 11, lunch starts at 12, lunch ends at four, and dinner starts at six. Keep your eye on that steakhouse section. It's gonna be your best friend in the market kitchen. As you're seated, you are assigned a server who takes your drink orders, a good selection of desserts that I can honestly say wasn't too bad. Now the presentation on all the desserts were a lot better than the taste. Not nasty, it's just they look a lot better than they taste. Like none of them made you wanna go back for seconds, but still good. <laughs> and I'm passionate about my desserts. They rotate in new options, so it keeps things interesting. Sushi rolls were pretty lackluster, run-of-the-mill grocery store kind of sushi. Uh, the sashimi was better. Of course, charcuterie. Uh, the pizza, yeah, don't get that. Kids might like it, mine didn't, but yeah. While on kids, Finest does have baby food for infants available and it's freshly made, which is dope. Pasta station, which was one of the better food options in the market kitchen. Mexican. Dips and soups. The, you can't see me doing this air quotes, but I'm doing air quotes. Steak house, a flat top grill section where you select the meat of your choice. The beef is like a flank or a flap or a flat iron steak. Definitely not ribeye, but it was good. Chicken, pork, and some seafood options like salmon and scallops. Uh, vegan and vegetarian options and sides to round us out. Now, with COVID and some of the precautions, the process for ordering at the buffet is still a little clunky. Just because of the barrier, the mask, the language barriers, the mislabeling of items, I blame a lot of it on myself for not retaining any of the six years of Spanish that I took, but yeah. All right, yeah, let's, let's, let's get in. Let's get right on in. Oh, no fear. If you know me, you know the sweet corner was calling my name. 
and I held off in anticipation for the right moment, which you'll see later. The food truck, a quick eat option serving authentic Mexican street foods. Great for if you don't want to sit in a restaurant or if you're on the move around the resort or you just want a really good street taco or burger. Seating is to the side of the theater bar section, definitely one of the more popular options, even when compared to the restaurants. All right, now let's talk about Dukes. Overlooking the two main pools and aqua bars. And kind of like I mentioned earlier, we hit this one a little bit more often than the others because it was a lot more accommodating as far as schedule. It was open more often than it was closed, as well as kind of a little bit more relaxed dress code in addition to the food being good and the views. So we are here at Duke's Lobster and Seafood. And as the name would suggest, it's, it's a seafood spot. With a pretty, with a pretty impressive menu. Uh, the lobster ceviche caught my eye. They've got char-grilled octopus. They've got um, grilled lobster, as you would imagine from a place with lobster in the name. Um, Bunch of different stuff. Not sure if this is a COVID measure. I'm pretty sure it is, but you have to look at their Excellence Collection app to get the menu. Um, and not just menus for restaurants. They are very much uh, app driven here at this resort. So uh, a lot of the information, maps, schedules, show times, all that kind of stuff. Um, is available on the Excellence Collection app. I'll drop in a little bit more information about that, but essentially you just download for iOS and Android and all the information about Excellence Collection, Beloved, um, Excellence, and Finest are, are there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, you get to see me try. There you go. Char grilled octopus. So definitely not as charred as, as I would prefer with my charred octopus, but it has good flavor. And before you go turning your nose up, like, Ugh, blah, 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 try it. It's all inclusive. You don't have nothing to lose. The garlic butter lobster was ambitious. Uh, they used this fake kind of imitation butter sauce that honestly wasn't needed on the lobster. I mean, the lobster itself was good. You get two lobster tails. The sea bass was just sea bass, cooked. Like no flavor other than bass. Expect some enhanced or gourmet dessert options in the restaurant. Here we have a grilled peach cobbler with a cinnamon and rosemary ice cream and hazelnut chocolate cheesecake. What do you think about that cheesecake? Oh, that's rich. That's rich. First of all, I don't know if y'all heard that. She said she's not complaining. I don't know that she really messes, my wife really messes with cheesecake like that. I know she don't mess with Nutella like that, which is essentially what this is, a Nutella cheesecake, chocolate hazelnut. So for her to say that, it's deep. Back to the buffet, but for breakfast. I really just wanted to show what they served at each meal, uh, drinks including an assortment of milks and juices, Hey, and just let me say, the grapefruit, orange, and chia juice was worth the trip alone. It sounds silly, but let me hyperbole in peace, please. Thank you. Some fresh fruit options. Breakfast charcuterie, which featured an amazing salmon tartare with jalapeno. Breads and pastries which were kind of lacking, except the churro. The churro, I kept eating. Sausage and potatoes, cereals. Omelet station, where you build your own custom omelet, uh, was definitely a popular option. So I got these salmon tartare, the smoked salmon. Somebody stole my plate of pastries. Wife got an omelet some bacon and... I don't know, he said it was a cappuccino, but then he mentioned, he said, I have your latte on the way. I'm like, I didn't ask for a latte. <laughs> oh, you put a, is that a stick figure? Oh, is he trying to call me skinny? That's what it is? Is that a stick he figure? Put a, he put a beautiful goddess in your, in your cappuccino. It looks like a stick figure. 
Brass Steakhouse. Fire up your senses for a fine dining experience for any lover of steakhouses. A la carte American cuts, signature pastas, and a huge international wine list. Grilled veggie assortment to start us off. Featured zucchini, eggplant, and broccoli. A pretty hearty sized kids pasta. A tamarind margarita, which featured a tahine rim. Tahine rim is the only way to drink margaritas, by the way. This is law. Beef ribs, which my anticipation outweighed my experience, and grilled sirloin. So all in all, brass was pretty cool. Um, the quality of the food, the level of detail, um, the plating, everything was far superior than what we've experienced um, at the rest of the resort thus far. Um, so I would recommend, uh, the missus had grilled sirloin. She said it was delicious. Uh, only complaint was the portion size, but I mean, yeah, was, just ask for more, right? So, um, and it was a portion size of like the sides and stuff. Um, like the mashed potatoes was like a dollar, uh, you know, stuff like that. But like I say, it's all inclusive. If you wanted to get three sirloins, you might get some, some eyes, but it's well within your right to do so. I wouldn't judge you. I would be right there with you with a stack of sirloins on my plate. I didn't do that because I don't want the eyes, but if we're gonna do it together, you and I, then let's do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, if you do stay here, um, I'm saying all this to say, I recommend brass. Tropical Juice Bar, a poolside bar offering fresh made to order juice blends. Of course, there's also cocktails, or you can mix healthy and debauchery and get a healthy juice blend with a shot of tequila. Also do fresh cut coconuts between the hours of I forgot and I forgot, uh, my bad. Uh, I wanna say it's like 12 to two, but it's not an all day thing. Just keep that in mind. The freshly cut coconuts produce a juice that is both refreshing and crisp. I'm trying out for the new coconut spokesperson. Go ahead, see if you can take a drink. Here, hold it. I got it. Here, let me see you, hold it. I'm gonna put it up to your mouth. Come take a sip, see if you like it. Put your lips right there. <laughs> Come here. Let's go. You don't like it? <laughs> at last, at last, Sweet Corner. My dreams of an establishment filled with the finest sweets and decadent delicacies were quickly dashed when I realized it's basically an ice cream and ice drink shop. Still, it has some good stuff though. A variety of ice cream flavors and drink options. Some were not iced or blended, but if you asked them to, they would blend it or make it with ice cream. What flavors did you get? Uh, strawberry chocolate. Okay, that sounds good. You gonna let me taste some? Taste a little bit. Here's oh, a little bit. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It's all in my mouth. It is. It's all in my mouth. Thank you. Lick it. So now I I am on the way to make dinner reservations for hibachi tonight at the Asian place. Um, Shojin, I believe, is the name. I'll correct that in the captions in the if it's if that's if that's wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's right. Um, yeah, so you actually, you physically have to walk here um, in order to make reservations. Uh, they start at about 4.30. Well, they start at 4.30 to make reservations for that evening. And I don't think you can do it any further in advance. So, be advised if you have, now you can walk in and just eat at the Asian, uh, restaurant but if you want hibachi then you need to be up here at 4 30 to make reservations and there's a line there's a few people up here already 
Now I'm late, 30 minutes late, it's five o'clock, but just, just no. So that didn't work. Um, the only times they had available were 5.30 and like 10 o'clock. And right now it's five o'clock. So that means my family needs to start getting ready right now as I walk back to the room because it is 4.58 and the reservation's at 5.30. Um, that ain't gonna happen. And 10 o'clock or whatever. Yeah, that's not gonna work for us either because baby don't need to be up there late. So, guess we just not doing hibachi. We'll figure something else out. Whichever option we go with, you guys will see it. So, stay tuned. But, a little disheartening. We'll figure something out though. So here's the kicker. The guy's like, if you come back tomorrow between 3, 3.30 and four, you know, we can make the reservation for you for tomorrow because you can't do it in advance. So I was like, well, I actually showed up here earlier because we were eating lunch downstairs. I requested it. It was like 3.45, four o'clock. He's like, oh, I don't know. I can't speak for other people, but come back tomorrow. No. no. We might have just missed that boat. But I might change my mind. I'll do it, I'll do it for y'all. Surf and turf, where the land and sea meet. Get it? Meet? I'm using terrible humor to mask the pain of the wait being two hours, and we were like, nope. So we didn't eat there. So we went to Legends, and remember back at the beginning, I told y'all it was a sleeper. Yeah. This was actually probably my favorite night of the whole trip. The relaxed atmosphere, you have to worry about dress codes, the dope drinks, the familiar and comforting foods, not to mention we were like the only folks in there. So these are Louisiana wings, onion rings, fries. When I tell you this was the best thing I ate the whole four or five days that we were there, like that was it. And that's not a shot at any of the other foods because the other foods were pretty good. It's just the wings were that good or they just exceeded my expectations that much. We we were introduced to a new tequila. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, Centen Centenario Reposado uh, is in here. It's delicious. I actually, I also, you didn't get any. Please don't tell these people I gave you some. She got orange She didn't get it. She ate, she drank orange juice, I promise. But I also asked I for. Yep, yeah, you did. I also asked for a, uh, a shot, uh, an extra shot on the side, um, just to taste. It's kind of got a smoky flavor. Yeah, the Centenario mixed really well as a margarita, so cheers. We're here at Dukes, we're back. I ordered the Synchronizadas. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Just in time. Synchronizadas are a quesadilla with machaca dried beef, morilla chili sauce, and fried eggs topped with onion, cilantro, and crema. And they got some stuff too. Don't, don't worry about it. Who cares? Just focus on these synchronizadas. So the synchronizada comes with, I mean, it's basically a quesadilla with dried beef, fried egg, chili sauce, onions, like whole nine. Delicious, like bus, as kids would say. But yeah, man, highly recommend this one. I also heard that the Waybos Rancheros were really good um, for my waiter. That's a gluten free option for anybody with uh, dietary restrictions. And this is Dusa de Leche that I'm pouring over these waffles. From now on, this is the only way I'm eating waffles with Dusa de Leche. So we scheduled a birthday dinner on the beach, and that is where we are headed right now. Um, if you decide to take advantage, just I think it's under, under the romance and something section of the app. Um, and then you meet at the concierge desk. You get an escort to the beach. Not sure what that looks like, but we'll find out together. So again, to take advantage of this, you need to go to the app, love and memory section. You'll click on romantic dinner. Right now it says it's about $200 per couple. Uh, we paid an additional just to have our daughter with us. I highly recommend it. Uh, it was a good experience, super dope. Um, short walk to the beach, 
Now, there is a very likely chance that you will be doing this experience with other couples on the resort, um, but the tables and everything are spaced out, so you don't really feel like you're on top of the other couples. It does still feel relatively intimate, you know, being out on the beach and having a dinner. I'm gonna let a lot of this B-roll just play through. And yes, it is always scheduled at sunset, so you do get the whole sunset dinner, beach vibe experience that yeah, it's, it's definitely get it if you're coming as a couple. I had to do this one for the gram, for the TikTok, for all that, for the socials. Your waiter comes over. The meals are predetermined, uh, so you don't necessarily take an order. You select in advance uh, of options that are available. Um, it is a five course meal, I believe. Yeah, five courses if you if you count wine and champagne, and, and I do. This is the champagne for babies. Oh, thank you. Alex, uh, can you tell What do you want now? Alex, Sammy. We're going to bring it, baby. We got you. I want something else. You want to leave me? You want to buy stuff? Yeah, Okay. And? Okay. Uh, Happy birthday. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The menu features dining options that are not available anywhere else on the resort. So in order to try some of these foods, uh, these very gourmet options, um, you will have to take part in this romantic dinner. The dinner also features live music. So enjoy the sounds of the saxophonist. Saxophonist is, is what they call it, right? Yeah, with the up. Uh, 